where we have been wide open clearing everything out the house everything is almost completely gone or moved to the 40 but one thing has not been moved to the 40 and that is a big project today that we have got to get done and something that i've been kind of dreading just a little bit and that is moving the airstream and what's so challenging about this is that the airstream is not on a trailer we took it off if you guys remember last year we took the airstream body off the trailer because we are going to try to restore this airstream and then of course everything's happened since so now we got to try to get it over to the 40 and somehow another get the trailer and it connected and I don't know, it's gonna be a challenge. What's up, Big Bear and Foxy? Everybody's lazy today. And for good reason, of course. It is raining off and on. Been raining pretty good. Got a good chance of rain today. That's one reason that we really want to try to get this airstream moved. We decided this morning to go ahead and try to move it today. It's kind of on a whim. It wasn't planned for today. But it's definitely something that has to be done. Now, if some of you don't remember, three years ago, as a matter of fact, it came up on my Facebook uh, memories. Three years ago today, when I'm recording this video, we went and bought a 1969 Airstream from a hunting club that was in pretty rough shape. And we plan on redoing it and turning it into a camper. Uh, we've also tossed around the idea of possibly turning it into a shop like a flower workshop or something to that effect so we'll see about that as time goes on but either way we have got to try to get this airstream over to the 40. this is going to be such a huge challenge for various reasons um, like i said earlier this thing's not on the trailer it's not mounted we took it all apart because we had to get the trailer welded um the floor was completely rotten in it so there's a ton of stuff that needs to be done but life's happened. Um, Y'all all know what's going on here. So now we got to try to figure out how to get this body of the Airstream over to the 40. All right, we're going to go down here and gather our th thoughts and feed the farm and start planning to uh, figure out this Airstream. I got an idea. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get the original trailer under it and then we're just going to put a whole bunch of straps on it and strap it down uh, i'm thinking that's going to be our best bet getting over there i don't think of any other way of getting it over there and i don't have time to put this whole thing back together and put a new floor in it you know you still got to do plumbing and electrical and the belly pan and we still need to put the new axles on so there's a whole lot that needs to be done before i permanently put this shell down so if I can temporarily put the whole Airstream body down on the Airstream trailer, that's going to be the way to go. Ain't it, boys? What's up, Loki? Alarm system. Hey, baby. Good morning, ACDC. What's up, Quackers? Sim Sim? Big O, and of course, the one and only Nugget, the Sheriff of Cocky. What's up, buddy? You want to help me with this Airstream today? Hmm? I sure could use it. Yeah. Hey, Corny. Look, there's Goat. I ain't seen Goat in a while, it seems like. So what we like, really, on uh, packing is... The greenhouses, we gotta get the greenhouses over there. We wanna try to take the gazebo. We're definitely taking our sinks and washing station. We gotta get that down. Um, we plan on trying to take this sweet shop. We've contacted a company that will take that. And the brooder on the other side of the chicken coop that y'all see or the nursery. We gotta take it. I get, uh, get all that over there. And all my gardening stuff. Everything that's in the sweet shop. Uh, all my gardening stuff in here. We gotta get this over there. Hey, Pinky. What's up, Pink, Pink, Pink? 
course we got the animals, but they'll be kind of at the end of us moving. We're not gonna move them over there and tour over there all the time. It's not that much left per se to do. Except, you know, what I told you, this big stuff, including that Airstream. Ooh, ooh, that's some beautiful eggs this morning. Look at the olive one. Uh -huh, that's Wilhelmina. That's Wilhelmina. I, I ain't she seen is. Wilhelmina this morning. She's around she... here though, cause that's her egg. Yeah, she lays really, really early. She lays some, is that her right there? Nope, that's not her, that's like Ericana. That's what she kind of looks like. Yeah, she kind of looks like the mosaic. She looks very similar to the mosaic, yep. Look at how big the Brahmas are. Getting big. Getting big. Speaking of big, look at that beautiful Cleopatra right there. Cleo! She's a big chicken. She is a big chicken. Mr. Corny behind her. You know, Corny and Cleo kind of stay with each other. You're know that? They really do. And the uh, turkeys. So there's some little brown turkeys that I have. I see the little brown here. turkeys you've hatched. And they all stay with Ruby. They all like Ruby. Yeah. Mama. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, okay, well, that's why they like Ruby they look, so much. I like Tommy, so. I do favor Tommy. You gonna get you some water this morning? You and Pink? Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna clean your boots up. What I'm gonna do. Pink, you know about cleaning up boots, girl? What's your gut feeling on getting the Airstream moved over there with no trailer, just a shell floating not, on bricks? I don't have bricks. any kind of gut feeling. It's just floating on bricks, you know. I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to let you drive, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, baby. Mary Carl got some pretty eggs this morning. She Did got a you? Wilhelmina egg. Wilhelmina? Does that mean it was green with a little brown on it? That was it. That's, that's my egg. It is so pretty. That you gonna eat that one? Yep. Jojo! Hey Bo Pete. I have. Bo Pete. What's up, Bo Pete? All the turkeys are on the trampoline. <laughs> Y'all having a little morning jump? Huh? Y'all having a little morning jump today? All of you? Got the turkey lean, huh? Is that what that is? The turkey lean. Got one last water to put up. Yeah, one last water. We got the chores done for the morning. I think I'm gonna have to change clothes. The uh, you're going to get your rain suit because it is going. The radar is rain all over the radar. Some heavy rain coming. I'm just hoping that we can get this airstream tackled before the heavy rain comes in fingers crossed right? fingers crossed and i hope i mean hopefully we can get the airstream over there one piece no issues no trailer issues no i mean anything can happen i mean it's it's not on a trailer don't you think that i ought to follow you and you pull it absolutely and that way i can go real slow and keep Cut my hazards on hazards on and... yeah I think that's the best way. In case something does happen, I'll have you as a backup, too. Okay, chickens. All right. Y'all are the last on the list today. Last on the list. I hear you, girl. Save the best for little crazies. She's crazy. <laughs> She's the one that was hatched by the turkey. Yeah, that's Onyx. Yep, Onyx is uh, Ruby or Rhonda. I can't remember which one. That's her baby, and she has since had five babies. Yep, and the Some new... of them are frizzled. And the new owner is going to get them. Yes. She's asked me if we will leave, be leaving any chickens. And we've decided that this will be a good group for them. It will be a great group for them. We'll put them in the coop. And that yep. way they'll have it all to their self. All right. right, Mary Carl? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Are you going to drive the truck with the Airstream on it? No? <laughs> no. It was a little scary coming off with it, 
because there was I think there was more variables and it's gonna be coming back down with it so I think coming down with it's not gonna be that bad uh, just as long as I can get it good and strapped tight to the trailer I'm gonna leave all the infrastructure in it all the beams and stuff we got in there I'm gonna leave that in there um, just want to lower it get it strapped down and take two vehicles and go to the 40 with it that's my plan first I want to assess the situation and see what we got going on um, we use jacks and jack stands to jack it up and but I think we're gonna be okay my only worry is gonna be this metal pendant right here I worry about that right there um, I just have to figure it out I may have to screw that back under with some sheet metal screws to get it over to the 40 it's pretty high up we got it pretty darn we got the trailer in there pretty good um so we got this infant structure and the reason why we're going to leave this in here is because of weight and order to keep this um airstream from buckling in like a tin can you know if these two by four stick out too far i can come back and cut them so i'm not worried about that either all i'm worried about is easing this thing down so we can uh get it out of here let's see if i can get this bad boy lowered get it lowered my plan is just do the opposite of what we did and we set plywood here i just raised it up with jack stand i mean with a jack and i did a little bit at a time and i just put jack stands underneath it this time i think i can just lower it on down without the jack stands i think coming down with it's gonna be way easier than going up with it fingers crossed it works you guys that went way smoother than what i anticipated <laughs> took me a minute to figure out how to get the jacks under here i tried to do it like the way we went up with it but that wasn't going to work so i went on each corner and that worked perfectly now we got a bunch of straps and we're going to strap the stew out of this thing down to this trailer and take it easy and see if we can get it over to the 40. it's about an hour drive normally so it may be hour and 15 hour and 30 minute drive this way all right i pretty much got it all strapped down um well brooke's gonna go get me some more straps that'll be every point um there'll be a strap and it is strapped down tight i really don't see how in the world it can go anywhere i really don't so now just wait on her to get back with the straps Gonna make sure the windows are closed real good. And fingers crossed we can get this booger over there. I did end up cutting the uh the poles off. They just stuck out too far. And I was afraid that that they'd just be too wide. And I dang sure didn't want to hit a car or anything like that. I did have a little bit of damage right here, but the skirts, which I was worried about, um they turned out okay. And I guess the reason was because they're on this two by four. That gave me enough clearance on it. Uh, Brooke got me some straps, some more straps. I got this booger strapped in. Let's see, I'm gonna do it. Three, five, six, eight, nine, 11, 14, 14 straps I know in here. And I got it where it can't move side to side or slip side to side. And I got it where it can't slip front or back. And it's fixing a storm on us. <laughs> but I gotta, gotta get these straps in there. If it starts raining, I should be okay because this is covered. Now my biggest fear about this whole thing is that this entire thing will somehow or another come off the trailer and we'll be stuck with a huge piece of scrap metal on the side of the road. That's my biggest fear right now. Uh, I don't foresee it going anywhere, but that is my biggest concern with this whole thing is this airstream air getting under it it's shaking it's flipping the straps not holding it something to that effect on the airstream
All right, we on the road. It's back there. Mrs. Car was following me. Got my flashers on. We're gonna drive slow, ease over to the 40. Fingers crossed we make it. <laughs> oh. We made it. Look, we're at the 40. We made it. Oh my gracious. Y'all know how happy I am about this. Extremely happy about this. So happy about this. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is real, folks. We ain't, <laughs> we ain't skidding nothing up. <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't making no no, no this, drama up, this are we? <laughs> ain't no drama made up. This is real cog kill farm life. This is real cog kill. But you know what I decided? What? We're keeping it. <laughs> we're going to keep it and we're going to camp in it. We're are not we turn Yes, I love it. And <laughs> the whole time I was behind it, I was thinking, we are not turning this into a flower truck. We have an old truck that will be sufficient. I was thinking a garden workshop. No. 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 Somebody needs to get out here on that bush hog. Oh, it's just grown up. It has. I just cannot believe it. I just got a little clip of you turning in, and <laughs> I thought to myself, I cannot <laughs> believe it. It is here. And this was just not planned for today. This was one for the record, wasn't it? This was one for the record. Uh oh. Hey. I wasn't expecting that today. This old booger's gonna get packed up, ain't it? Mm-hmm. I will get out here directly. Surely the snakes are moving out of the way, don't you think? Yeah, we're running over them. Well, I mean, when I get out, let me get out. I got boots on if you want me to get out. I'll get out. You sure? Yeah. You gonna holler at me? You better roll your window down. <laughs> My old back. Wowzers. Uh-oh, got a little dent going on in the, right here. Look right here. Looking good. I don't think that was already there. Think? Yeah. Banana, banana wraps cover that up. Plus it, that goes down and folds up under there. Uh -huh. So we're a good, almost three and a half inches off the Woo! I am just thrilled. I know y'all think I'm overreacting, but. <laughs> You just don't know. This is, this is good. This is good. This is real good. All right, I need a freaking block. Right now. How many blocks did you bring? I got probably enough to get it up off the ground. Doesn't that tongue look nice? We had somebody to sandblast it and put some rust preventative on it. I think it turned out really good. Much better than I could have done. Let me go up some more. All right, we're good now. Blocks. We're good. After I drive out? Yeah, I'll set it down. Here we go. All right. Ready? Ready? All right. Good deal. I'm so satisfied we're done. I'm leaving the truck running. Wow. Man. She's here, man. Look at this. I got to take a picture. She is here. Look. 